So this is the Panda RC VBAT Lite VTX and it comes in a 20 by 20 mm format and it goes as high as 1300 milliwatt which makes it the most powerful 20 mm VTX ever made. So this is all the stuff which you get inside the packaging. Now taking a closer look at the VTX we can see the heatsink is made up of metal and if we are going to flip the bolt we can see we have some parts given over here which can be used to directly solder your wire and here we can see we have a button in order to switch between the various channel and the power level of the VTX. Now there is this one thing which you need to keep in mind is that when you are going to use the full output power of the VTX then you have to use a good quality antenna and in case if you are going to use this antenna supplied by the Panda RC you might damage the VTX and if you don't know which antenna to choose then you can simply go with Fox Hill Lollipop 4 Plus antenna. These are some really high quality antenna. Now on this VTX we have 5 LEDs. The LED on the extreme left indicates the band while the LED on the extreme right indicates the power level while the remaining 3 LEDs in the center indicate the channel which you are using. Now if you are going to do a short press we can switch between the various channel levels of this VTX. Here you can see I can simply switch between various channel levels and if you are going to press the button for more than 3 seconds we can switch between the various bands which is indicated by blue LED. Here you can see we are in the band mode and here we can simply short press the button in order to switch between the various bands and in case if you are going to hold the button for more than 6 seconds we will enter into the power mode where we can switch between the various power levels ranging from 25 milliwatt all the way up to 1300 milliwatt which is indicated by red color. 